Here are five tips to clean up your inbox in 2023, including how to bulk delete emails and Gmail. Inbox Zero, here we come. Hey friends, I'm Tasia Custody and welcome back to my YouTube channel where I share tech tips, app reviews, and enough Gmail content to fill up all the inboxes in all the land. But today I'm sharing five tips to quickly clean up your Gmail inbox. Let's go. Tip number one, mute email threads. This is like when you mute group chat notifications, but for your Gmail. Yes, please. So if you've ever been stuck in an endless email thread, you can adjust your settings to not have every reply end up in your inbox. On desktop, check the box to the left of that email thread, then click on the three dot menu icon near the top, or yours might say more, and then select mute. Now, instead of popping up in your inbox, all of the emails in this thread will go into your all mail label, saving your inbox and also maybe your sanity at the same time. And you can do this on mobile as well, by the way. So here you'll actually tap on the email and then tap on that three dot menu icon in the top right and then tap mute. Again, you're going to be receiving emails, but they're just gonna filter into your all mail label. And if you want to know even more about Gmail labels, you can click right up here for that video or watch via the link in the description below. Moving on to tip number two, archive emails in bulk. This is a great way to clean up your inbox really quickly. And remember, archiving emails is different than deleting emails. So if you've got a lot of emails from one sender that are creating clutter in your inbox, start by using the search box at the top of your Gmail to search for the email address of that sender. Now let's narrow down that search more by clicking on the from filter underneath that search box and selecting that email address. So we only want to view emails from that email address. From here, we can click on this box to select all email, or we can click on the arrow to the right of the box to narrow the field further by red, unread, starred, and so on. But once you've decided on how you want to filter this, simply click on the archive option that appears to the right of the select all toggle. Now, all of these emails are instantly removed from your inbox. And if you're wondering, where do archived emails go in Gmail? Well, they are also added to your all mail label. And not only can you archive emails in bulk, but you can delete emails in bulk too. So with that, tip number three is to bulk delete emails in Gmail. Ooh yeah. So here's how to bulk delete emails in Gmail. There are of course a couple of ways to do this. I think the easiest way is a couple of clicks. You can click on that select all toggle near the top to select all emails on the page. Once you select all emails using this toggle, you're gonna to be informed at the top that you've selected all the emails on that page, but you can select all conversations in your primary inbox. You'd simply click on that to get rid of every last email in your entire inbox. So if you truly want to bulk delete all the emails in your Gmail, this would be the quickest way. But chances are you probably don't want to delete every last email that you have ever received into your inbox. So you can actually use some handy filters to bulk delete emails as well. You can literally filter this however you want. So in your search bar at the top, maybe you want to bulk delete all emails from specific email addresses. So you could just search for that email address and then either select all right from those results, or you could use that same filter to filter only emails from, so only emails you've received from that email address. Then you select all and bang, delete them all in one go. Or you could filter by unread or read messages. So in your search bar at the top, you could type in something like is colon unread, and then hit enter and boom, all of your unread emails are going to come up for you. Here, it's the exact same steps. You click on that select all box and you can delete per page or simply select all conversations that match this search. 
So you can search and filter down however works for you to delete your emails in bulk. But remember, once you delete emails in Gmail, they are moved to your trash bin where they will sit for 30 days. So from your trash, you could recover an email and move it back to your inbox if you want. You can leave them sit there for 30 days, or you can select the option at the top to empty trash now. Once you do that, those emails are gone forever. Goodbye. Tip number four to clean up your inbox is to create multiple email addresses. This is really handy if you're signing up for newsletters or social media accounts or free trials or, I don't know, even contests. It's great because you don't have to bog down your primary inbox with those emails. It's called plus addressing. So next time you're signing up for a newsletter from hmm, the best songwriter in the whole world, all you have to do is type in the start of your email address, then add a plus symbol and type in something like, you know, for my example, Taylor newsletter. Now, these emails will initially land in your inbox, but all you have to do is set a filter or label to tell Gmail where you want those emails to go. So click on the checkbox to the left of the email. And here you can either click on labels at the top and select a label from here or create a new label for it. Or you can click on more or that three dot menu icon in the top and select filter messages like these. If you want an even more in-depth tutorial on creating multiple emails in Gmail, wouldn't you know, I've created a video on that too, which you can watch via the link in the description below. And with that, we've come to tip number five, report spam. I will admit, Gmail does an excellent job at doing this automatically for you, but very occasionally things do squeak by. If this happens, all you need to do is click that checkbox to the left of the email, and then click the report spam icon. It's in the same spot near the top if you've opened that email too, by the way. I also check my spam folder every now and again, just to make sure nothing has been flagged as spam that actually should be in my primary inbox. All right, before I leave you, I have a little bonus tip for you, and that's to perform a security checkup on your Google account. So from your Gmail, you can click on your account icon in the top right and select manage your Google account. From here, click on security on the left. If you scroll down, you can check on all the devices you're currently signed in on, which is really handy. Sign out of anything that you do not recognize. Or let's scroll back to the top. You may have some security recommendations from Google here. You can click on protect your account to check on those. It's also a good idea from here to ensure that you have your two-step verification enabled. And as you've probably guessed by now, I have a million more Gmail videos where that came from. So if you want any more Gmail content, be sure to check out the links in the description below. So those are my tips to clean up your Gmail inbox in 2023. And now I wanna hear from you. What do you think of my five tips to clean up your Gmail inbox? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, well, I wanna know. So give it a like, a share, or leave that comment below. You can click right about here to subscribe to my channel and here and here for even more Gmail content. Thanks for watching. See you next time.